All right, welcome back. And today I want to talk to you about the bookmarks bar. And I've got two browsers. I've got Internet Explorer, which is made by Microsoft. And I've got Google Chrome, which is made by Google. So let's start off with Google Chrome. So let's say we always go to a specific website. Let's say yahoo.com. So every time we open it up, we have to type that in, yahoo.com. So let's see, we'll close it. We'll go back in. And again, we're going to our home page, which is Google. Uh, we have to type in yahoo.com every time. It can be tedious. Let's say you're going to a web uh, website for your banking or your Facebook or your Hotmail. You don't want to keep typing that in. So what you can do is you're going to go over here to the three dots. You're going to click. You're going to go to bookmarks. And you're going to put show bookmarks bar. You're going to put your mouse on that, and you're going to click it. And what you've seen now is you've seen this lowered down. This white space was not here before. So now what we can do is we can take this, grab the lock, bring it down right there, and release. So what I did is I'll just do it again over here. I'm clicking on this and I'm holding my mouse button down, I'm dragging my mouse, and putting it over here. So I'm going to delete this second one. So now that's going to be a bookmark bar. So let's go close this up. We'll go to Google. And of course, it still goes to Google, the, the search engine. But let's say we want to go to Yahoo. We don't have to type it in because it's right here. So we're going to click on it. Boom. And that's it. So it's way faster. So we'll speed it up. We come to our computer, open Google Chrome, click on Yahoo, and we're there. Let's say we wanted to go to... Do, 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 do. I don't know. What website do we want to go to? Let's say we want to go to Netflix. All right, here's Netflix. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to click the lock, hold the mouse button down, drag it, put it down here. And there we go. So now we've got Yahoo and Netflix. You want to go back to Yahoo? Click here. Want to go back to Netflix? Click here. Pretty awesome. So we'll start from the beginning. Double click. You want to go right to Netflix? Click right here. It takes you right there to Netflix. And notice how it's being cut off here. You can actually resize that. So let's right click, edit. All we really need is Netflix in, in the description. We'll highlight that. We'll delete it with the, uh, the backspace button. All right, we'll save. And that's it. So now we've got Yahoo and Netflix. Now you can do this all the way across. So think of the convenience you can get by doing this. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome when you got about 10 or 20 links and you can just go to them without having to type in anything. All right, so we've got that figured out for Google Chrome. If you use Internet Explorer, you'll go here. And now with uh, Inter or, uh, Internet Explorer, I mean, uh, if you use Internet Explorer, you can actually just right click. See how it's tabbed here? You can add another tab here. Well, right on this tab section, this blank section, you can right click. And when you right click, it's called the Favorites bar. So we're going to click that, and it adds this extra bar. So let's say we liked MSN. We could grab this, we we'll drag it down here, and it puts it right there. Let's say we wanted to go to Netflix on here as well. We'll type in Netflix, we'll go to the link. Now that we're on the website, we can drag it, actually up here, sorry, drag it down here. Okay, and what was the other website we went to? I think it was Yahoo. Uh, so let's see, Yahoo, we'll type it in there, take us there, and we're going to grab this Yahoo link, we're going to put it down here. Now they're kind of long, so what we can do is we can right click on the, ta on the uh, they're not tabs actually, they're little uh, bookmarks, or they call them favorites uh, in Internet Explorer. So you're going to right click, you're going to go to rename, you're just going to keep in MSN Canada. Highlight the rest, hit backspace, click OK, and you've now shortened it. Also with Netflix, we're going to right click, rename. We're going to go just highlight Netflix, or just uh, leave Netflix unhighlighted, delete the rest. All right, and then there we go. So let's say we go to google.com, and we're doing our thing at Google. Let's say we're checking out the crazy news. Um, so then we want to go right back to Netflix to watch a movie. You can just click right here. Or Yahoo. Click right here. So let's see. Netflix. Boom. 
Yahoo? Boom. You know what I mean? Let's say you want to go to Bank of America. You know, you can click on that. You can grab uh, this right here. Drag it down here. Oh, I didn't grab it. Oh, it's not coming down. How come this one's not coming down? Hmm. There we go. Uh, for some reason it wasn't grabbing, but yeah, you'll grab the little logo there. Uh, some websites will have the logo, some won't. That's nice because uh, it's convenient and it's uh, visibly identifiable. So you've got MSN there, Netflix there, Yahoo there, and the Bank of America flag there. And so we don't need this banking credit cards part, so we can rename it. We'll just highlight the rest, hit backspace, backspace again. And boom, now we've added these three things. We can go right to Yahoo, right to Bank of America, back to MSN, and back to Netflix. All without typing a darn thing. Anyway, I hope this uh, was super convenient for you. Uh, and you should be able to do this in most browsers. I've showed you on the two. Uh, but yeah, if you like the video, definitely uh, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video.